First of all, congratulations. Thank if you, you just uh, go through the win for us, yep. talk about the match a little bit. Yeah, great, great match. First round, it's it's nice to uh, get the rhythm and uh, go into the the draw. Um, just uh, she, I know she was tricky. She has a lot of experience and and play uh, uh, different shots from other players. But I'm glad that I got the win in two sets. Okay, very good. Thank you. Questions. Congratulations on your win. You have to please. You have to. Okay. Thank you. I know you don't know the rules, but thank you. Go ahead. Congratulations on your win. Happy birthday. Thank um, you. So there was one moment in the in the match where you uh, seemed a little frustrated, tossed your racket. What were you going through at that moment? I think that was like in the first set. Uh, it's it's kind of a um, weird match, you know, when you um, lose your your uh, serve a lot and you have a lot of great break points, you know. So um, I was just trying to take every opportunity to to really go forward in this match, and uh, I believe like I could have won the first set, not seven five, but at least like six two or six three. So it's frustrating to kind of lose those opportunities, but um, at the same time, very grateful that I won the first set. Okay. You in your sport. Uh, once the, the the weather kind of changed during the day, because in the morning it was very humid, and then suddenly it was windy. I'm just curious for you, did the conditions take you by surprise at all? Was your warm up the same conditions as when you? We're actually on the court for the match. I was praying that the guys match uh, stay longer, you know, so I'd, I would be able to play uh, at maybe four or five. Uh, it was the perfect timing. Thank God it wasn't that hot because uh, I know it could be humid, but not just uh, for a uh, physical for us, but also when you hold the racket when it's too humid, it's just that uh, the racket slips away and you can be able to, to fully play your shots. But, um, you know, the con conditions were kind of tricky because playing from uh, different sides, it kind of changed with the wind but um, I'm pretty glad that I could have adapted sometimes because you have to really know where the ball is coming and sometimes it's really close to you so you have to really adapt in that. Uh, we spoke a little bit about the race and that you're not so comfortable in the race because you don't have the Wimbledon points and stuff like that so I'm curious how much is it on your mind considering you came so close last year and then you got injured you couldn't even go. Well, it's it's a different situation, obviously, from last year. Um, I know I could be safer than other players for sure, but uh, you never know. You know, it could five. It could you could have six or five Annettes <laughs> came up after at the end of the season. But um, maybe I'm still in the shock from last year. But uh, you know, just sometimes I I want to focus more on my game, focus more on on, on the how it's going, and um, we've seen a couple of surprises today um, not in my advantage but you know it, it's uh, it could it, it could be tricky so you have to be careful and uh, for me I'm gonna take it uh, match by match hey, Alex, Chris Otto with US Open. what do you think it was that contributed to your early struggles was it being out on court five which to me watching it on TV it looked like a little bit of a strange chaotic environment or was it just that it's your first Trouble match here what sorry was it being out on that smaller court with a big crowd and a little bit chaotic, or was it just that it's maybe your first match here in New York and some nerves? I mean, uh, I'm I'm nervous every uh, first first match. Um, you know me; I don't care much what I play, but uh, you would always love to play on a big court. But you know, I have to earn it, and definitely I'm up to that challenge. Uh, um, love the crowd there. Uh, love how people are supporting me, and uh, just brings me back how I was playing qualies here and playing. You know, uh, first rounds like uh, nobody coming to this draw. It just takes me back to before, and uh, you know, I'm just. Uh, we'll have to build up and hopefully we'll we'll get to the big stages. What do you think you were able to do to turn it around? Because you really rolled in the set. Once you were down 2-1, I think you pretty much ran away and dropped like six points in the last five games. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was tricky the whole match, you know. I, I had a lot of opportunities to break her serve. Uh, she's not a big server, so I always know I had to read just to put the ball in and, and put pressure so I can get more and more. But uh, I'm, I'm just uh, happy that I stayed focused and really went uh, for, for every game after. Okay. And this is two part. How does it feel being the number one ranked Muslim woman in the world? And do you feel you're inspiring young teenage girls like yourself? 
It feels really amazing. I hope that I can send a powerful message that uh, if I made it here, everybody could make it here. And uh, especially for, for women from different different countries, especially from the Middle East, from the Arab world, I hope they can believe more in themselves and, and, and be here and uh, play uh, at any Grand Slam. Tied around Serena's match today, and I'm curious from the player's side, do you feel it? Because if you're out on the grounds, like you can see people dressed in Serena gear and everything, and I'm just curious from your perspective, do you feel there's anything different? Um, player side, no, but uh, I can see the crowd are really uh, uh, waiting for that match, and I, I can, I really want to watch this match, uh, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm supporting Serena. I have to. She's she's really amazing, and I hope she she could win as much match as she can, and um, it's just amazing. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I was looking at the articles about the ticketing, and it's it's amazing. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm just really impressed, and we're, we're really gonna miss her. <laughs> You know, on tour. In the back. Uh, Jason Gay with the Wall Street Journal. I apologize for somewhat of a random question, but I was inspired by your Instagram post the other day and knowing about your husband. Do you fence? Uh, and have you fenced in your life? Uh, because I'm curious, like, you have such a creative tennis approach. And, you know, I'm just curious if there are any sort of parallels between fencing and what you do out there. So, yeah, obviously, I, I knew my husband through uh, him fencing and uh, me playing tennis. We know each other from the national team in Tunisia. We did fence once when we got married, first got married uh, after coming back from the honeymoon. He just wanted, I was like, come on, I want to do fencing because I spent my honeymoon playing tennis with him. So I was like, okay, this is my turn. And uh, yeah, uh, and apparently I won. <laughs> but it was it was a great, diff difficult sport, uh, honestly, but uh, very noble and uh, very happy that he taught me a few things and uh, you know we, we are close to some uh, some of his friends they they're Olympic uh, athletes so it, it was very nice to to watch some fencing and, and know more about it so you don't fence like practice occasionally just one that nah, one, shot. one time I'm maybe maybe another time I'm, I'm still trying to convince him to maybe switch the training practice to fencing practice one day thank you <laughs> thank you knowing what happened with Serena that she's likely going to be playing her last match this year in New York. How much do you cherish the opportunity you had to play doubles with her last month? I mean, uh, a lot because uh, not we just not play doubles, but I, I got to know a very nice person and uh, we got a little bit closer and she's she's really unbelievably nice. And um, I'm very, very lucky that she um, she texted me from time to time to encourage me. And especially after um, the run in Wimbledon, she really was there and, and texted me and, and was very nice. And uh, I got to practice with her here also, which is unusual for Saru. But again, you know, being part of her um, uh, tennis career, you know, maybe at the end, yes. But uh, I'm just very lucky and I hope we can get a little bit closer so she can give me some advices as a, a tennis player and also as a businesswoman. I'm really intrigued in that. Okay, we're good. Could you talk more? Three. What do you know about your next opponent? Because she's young and breaking through and her mom was a champion. Uh, I've seen her play in San Jose against Paula and a few other matches. Um, I know she she really hits hard. It's going to be a very tricky match. Not easy, you know, and especially uh, she's American. Everybody's going to cheer for her. So, uh, yeah, I have to speak with my coach. But, uh, yeah, those matches, especially in Grand Slams, are really, really tricky.